Top 10 Crazy Ingredients in Cosmetic Welcome to the new video guys. Skincare products are manufactured to make you feel beautiful, but if you dig down, the ingredients they have in them will make you choke before using them, as they are not at all attractive on their own. And when the concept of organic is so on the peak, natural or naturally derived ingredients in the place of synthetics may come from unexpected places. So, in today's video, we will show you 10 crazy and gross ingredients that are being used in your foundation, lotion, face cream, and facials, etc. Number 10. Snail Mucin Koreans are famous for their beautiful glass skin. Well, because they are always taught about the importance of being beautiful. This might surprise you, but in Korea, the culture appreciates the people on taking care of their skin since childhood and they are constantly taught on grooming themselves. It's also very common there that many males and females ultimately adopt a habit of a full 10-step regime. But here is the most bizarre part of the K-beauty regime. Snail mucin. Research says it's packed with the proteins, acids, and elastin you'd usually find in your creams. I'm sure anyone would shudder at the mere thought of slapping snail goo on the face, but surprisingly, some people are okay with that. Number 9. Bird Poop very few things can ruin your day when an unwanted bird poops on your hood, your car, favorite bag, or worse, your arms and legs. You might cringe when someone chipperly exclaims, it's good luck, but they aren't very wrong especially when it comes to the beauty of your skin. We know what you're thinking. Is this just another passing trend? Not quite. Incorporating bird waste into your skincare routine has been traced back to geisha facials, so it's safe to say it's here to stay. Since nightingales excrete solid and liquid waste, which is something we didn't need to know, this specific species is considered the gold standard in bird poop. The poop contains nitrogen-rich urea and guanine, an amino acid. Urea helps to bind moisture to the skin, thus making the skin look and feel hydrated. Perks aside, I can't imagine using anything like that on my face. Number 8. Mink Oil this ingredient will shock you the most as it has been used in many cosmetics and hair products since the 1950s. Yes, it's that old. It is made up of fat compressed from a mink corpse. It is then purified, bleached, and lastly, scented. A mink farmer's hands became very soft and smooth after killing the animals, hence the discovery of this ingredient. So ladies, be thankful to him, or hate him, that is up to you. It is believed to be a conditioning agent found in some shaving creams, sunscreens, that is why they instruct you to don't forget to reapply after swimming or excessive perspiration. This is also in hairspray and many others. Recently, research proved that mink oil is not more effective than just being a plant-based oil, yet it is still added to cosmetics due to its glamorous prestige. Number 7. Tallow, also known as roadkill. This is an ingredient of its kind that might leave you stunned. It is a hard fatty material made from a condensed cow corpse. Even though it's not known to be lethal to the human body, but for vegans, it is a problem. Who do not want to consume animal products. However, Environment Canada declared it a potentially dangerous environment, apparently due to the engineering agriculture that produces it. The mainstream of this fat is used as a skin conditioning agent and emollient in cosmetics like lipstick, eyeshadow, and soap. The procedure of rendering animal fat involves boiling animal corpses in a pot to create fatty spin-offs. The rotten animals cast off from every place like dead stock and those animals die before getting to the slaughterhouse and euthanized zoo. Number 6. Sheep Grease I know that you will hate the idea of having your hair and skin soaked in oil, not to mention someone else's. However, sheep oil may be a keen expansion to your everyday schedule. Recent research stated that sheep oil, or lanolin, is extraordinarily calming since it's incomprehensibly hydrating for dry and damaged skin. Lanolin can be spotted in huge amounts of cosmetic removers and lipsticks, which is odd, yet supposedly simpler to process than a portion of different fixings on the rundown. Number 5. Infant Skin As gross as it sounds, child prepuces contain a protein called Epidermal Development Factor EGF, that top-of-the-line spas like to use in against maturing, skin-firming medicines. EGF can be done through utilizing, unlike fixings, human tissues, skin, and kidneys, and undeveloped cells that have been taken from infant prepuces and cloned for corrective use. It has also been reported that celebrities, for example Sandra Bullock and Kate Blanchett, have gone all for the alleged penis facial, 
and even Obra has supported a cream with prepuce related mixes in it. Number 4. Ambergris, also known as whale vomit. As gross as it sounds, one of the most important ingredients found in our beauty box is whale vomit, as this is too precious an ingredient, so it's not too common in makeup products, but it has a special smell in it, which is why it's used in expensive perfumes. It is taken out from sperm whales as a black slime that floats on the surface of an ocean and ultimately hardens into a rock-like matter that showers on shorelines. Ambergris has been of great importance for millennia, used in the field of medical and also cosmetics by everyone from ancient Egypt to the Middle Ages to present-day Parisian perfumers. It is banned in the US, yet its international trade is still legal. Companies in the United Kingdom have stopped using this ingredient, whale vomit, and instead have switched over to synthetic alternatives for the sake of their customer safety. It is still present in some expensive products though. Number 3. Placenta. Placental protein. This might make you feel weird, but usually, the placenta is a thin white layer that is found on babies when they are born. However, it is known to nourish the skin and hair. Extracts from the human body in certain animal placenta are very valuable since the placenta is mandatory for a baby's growth in the womb. Nonetheless, the same extracts in cosmetics provide your body a hint of hormones. The estrogenic substance in cosmetics may raise the rate of breast cancer risk in its users. Number 2. Plastic. Oh, plastic. The ingredient we could not seem to escape, no matter how hard we try. Either it's in the form of plastic bags around us, or the ingredient in our cosmetics. Plastic appears in a few forms, such as Teflon, the nonstick pan coating. EWG has found Teflon in foundation, sunscreen, moisturizer, eyeshadow, bronzer, highlighter, facial powder, sunscreen, makeup, mascara, anti-aging, moisturizer, around eye cream, blush, shaving cream, facial moisturizer, facial treatments, brow liner, and other eye makeup. This means it's everywhere. Not only that, but plastic also shows up in the form of microbeads, which serve as an exfoliant. Microbeads have been banned in New Zealand, Canada, Sweden, the UK, and several US states, but there are still products, particularly makeup and lip gloss, that are not covered in many places. So if you see any ingredients such as polyethylene and polypropylene, avoid them. Number 1. Cochineal Beetles Dactylopius coccus Cochineal beetles eat the prickly pear cactus in South America. Gather up, because supposedly, when they are full of cactus fluid, these insects are tattered off the plant, boiled, dried out, and crinkled into carmine, which is used in particular red dye that's used in some lipstick and blush. Well, guess what? Your red lipstick might contain this. However, the good news is that cosmetic companies will have to unveil any ingredients in their makeup that includes ingredients like Dactylopius coccus or elements scrapped out of any other insects. At the end, if you think people are going to stop using cosmetics due to these ingredients, let me aware you of the fact that many famous actresses are even getting penis facials these days. So your products are not that bad yet. That is all for now guys. If you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.